Hi, welcome back. This is the Gaylord Gamer. It's just a brief video now uh, highlighting my PS3 game collection and uh, some of the peripherals around. Uh, our Fight Stick 3, the uh, PlayStation Move, it's had a lot of use in all honesty. There's the PS3 Slim, it's the only PS3 I've ever owned. It's, uh, let's say, it's a three, uh, 320 gig version. It's a decent console, it's not a bad console. It, uh, I shouldn't say too much about its reliability, but uh, as I say, it's, it's got a hefty console. It's got a nice uh, build quality feel to it. The games in my collection, I've got uh, Dark Souls Limited Edition, that's the only limited edition box set game that I've got. So I'm sure most folk on here are familiar with that one, it's the uh, Prepare to Die uh, Limited Edition exclusive with the original game, behind the scenes DVD, soundtrack CD, art book and digital game guide. It's a nice box set, it's a pretty good game. Other games uh, of note in the collection. I so, say uh, we might as well start at the beginning uh, with 3D Dot Game Heroes. It's a, a decent uh, take on Zelda. It's like a like a comical version with the uh, updated 3D graphics. It's like a retro esque 3D blocky um, style graphics uh, based on the old the oldy style RPG sprites. Actually, Borderlands 2 there picked that up. Uh, Quite cheaply, yeah, only a couple of uh, weeks, about a month ago, something like that. Uh, I've installed it, I've actually played it. And I do like Borderlands 1 on 360, so at that price it was a bit of a steal of a price, that was less than a tenner, so I'll pick that one up on, 360, on the uh, PS3. Sorry. There's Dark Souls, Dark Siders, I do have Dark Siders on the Xbox 360, I do prefer the one on the uh, PS3, just something about it, it seems a little bit more polished. Demon Souls, classic game. That was the one that uh, started off the old uh, genre with the carried on with the uh, Demons sorry with Dark Souls. Demon Souls. What we got here? We've got a uh, Deus Ex, Disagate 3, Absence of Justice. So much uh, RPG RTS style game. Dragon Age, you've got Dragon Age 2, a little more item, you've got uh, El Shaddai, that's a decent uh, little action game. It's quite underrated actually. There's a dreaded FIFA game, oh dear, never mind, it ain't a bad game actually. Um, Front Mission Evolved, another one, so so game. And there you have uh, some of the heavy hitters of how the PS3 first came out, stuff like uh, Heavenly Sword, uh, Heavy Rain. The uh, much anticipated and probably slightly disappointing Gran Turismo 5. They have a cracking collection there. You've got the uh, Ico and Shadow Colossus collection. Classics HD, that one. The Kana Lynch games. Mm, so so. Katamari Forever. That's a decent version of the old Katamari genre. We got here uh, the not so stellar Kung Fu Rider, very lightweight. Another title that's uh, universally panned, Lair. It's not a bad game actually. It's not exactly uh, Panzer Dragoon, but uh, it's it's okay. Little Big Planet, Little Big Planet Two. Need I say more? Marvelous Capcom Three, Fate Two Worlds. I haven't bought the uh, updated versions of those. The Metal Gear Solid HD collections and uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 Mini Ninjas, that's a decent game on PS3 oh, I did pick up the uh, the Wii version before the PS3 but uh, since then I've got rid of the Wii version because obviously the uh, the PS3 version is a more upgraded uh, graphically superior version The Resistance series, Resistance 2, Resistance 3 uh, decent uh, racing game that one, Ridge Racer 7 obviously some people don't like the old Ridge Racer format I do prefer the uh, original Ridge Racers over the uh, the later version 
that uh, that last version was it uh, Unbound or whatever it's called. It was uh, it was absolutely dire, in my opinion. Anyway, you got Saboteur. That's a decent game. You've got Sancho the Third. It's another, another strange game. It's uh, very much in the Grand Theft Auto vein. You can do some very weird things in there. It's uh, also a fun game, to be honest. Siren Blood Curse. It's an exclusive. Uh, split Second as well, Velocity on the PS3. That's a really top class racing game. It uh, features some superb graphics. Uh, I've actually played the 360 version, but uh, if it's anywhere as good as the uh, PS3 version, I'd, I'd definitely recommend it. Street Fighter 4 along with uh, Time Crisis Rising Storm that also has got uh, another game on the disc I do believe it's uh, is it a pilot's game I think I've only ever played it once it Features yes Dead Storm Pirates it's also move compatible it ain't a bad game The Yakuza games, they're also uh, class games as well, exclusive to PS3. Yakuza 3, Yakuza 4, I've got uh, the complete Yakuza series, including Dead Souls. Uh, well, actually I haven't got the complete series, I haven't got the uh, the ones based in uh, the Edo times. I don't know what that one was called, but I'm sure someone will uh, post a comment and tell me which one that is. Where the Samurai 3. It's another class game. We've got a bit of sequence here because I've messed them up. And what have we got? Right, we've got uh, Uncharted 2, Uncharted 3. Oh. Valkyria Chronicles, Virtue Tennis, Trinity Universe. And that's pretty much it. I'm sure there are plenty of games out there. Uh, sorry, plenty out. Yes, plenty of games out there that uh, people will say, "Oh no, you haven't got them in your collection." But uh, these are the ones I've picked up, and these are the ones that have interested me. There are probably a lot of uh, third-party games out there that you probably say are better on uh, PS3 than 360. But uh, these are the ones that I've picked up, and the ones I prefer. Um, I'm sure there are probably a lot of first party titles out there you could probably recommend to me including uh, titles like The Last of Us which I haven't actually played yet but, uh, for the moment that's the PS3 collection and for the moment while I'm uh, really into the retro collecting it, it hasn't really grown much anyway thanks for viewing